welcome to Lifestyle. I'm Denise Simons, your host, and this is a show about bringing life into your home and helping you create your style. And we do it all by giving you tips and inspiration and resources right here in Middle Tennessee to create everything you see on the show. Well, coming up, do you want to create distinctive spaces in your home that are unique for your home and your family lifestyle, but really don't know how? Well, Michael Vogt is here from California Closets. He's my go-to guy for anything that's trending, and he's bringing back amazing samples from Milan, and you won't believe everything that he has to show you coming up on the show. Also, are you confused when you go out looking for tile? Like, what do you choose from all of the applications? Well, I took a couple over to Tile & Stone Design and Lindsay Caps and I helped these clients choose just the perfect, it was stone, and we also did a metal medallion for the backsplash. It looks so great, I can't wait. Probably in another three weeks, I'll be showing you that on the show. But Lindsay is here and she's gonna be showing us something we've never seen on the show. It's actually a slate veneer that you can use on radiuses. It actually is bendable. You can use in wet places. It's really cool. You wanna stay tuned to see that. And also coming up, this bath was featured on Talk of the Town this past Wednesday, but we've got more of it to show you. Uh, it's a big dramatic makeover. I mean, what do you do when you want to use smoky glass topaz, a little bit of cheetah, and maybe some animal print and some faux finishes? Well, we're gonna show you right now exactly what we did. I was excited for the challenge to update this bathroom for my good friend, Cindy. She has a big personality, but this bathroom was pretty dull and pretty outdated. Take a look at this picture. This is right after we took all the old wallpaper down and we were ready to create something new. So here's a picture of the before. Actually, this is right after we tore out the wallpaper and you can see we're left with just white walls, white tile, and a white tub. Well, there was really nothing wrong with those and because we wanted to make this affordable, well, we left all of those, but we needed some drama, and I'm going to show you exactly what I did. What a dramatic effect this was to have a darker color on the wall. This is a faux finish. It's in a silver leaf, lots of layers of paint, and then we added an 11-foot panel to the wall. We're going to talk about that in just a moment, but check out all of the accessories. We brought in some black, silvers, and bronze. We have these beautiful candle holders, and that's perfect when you're taking a bubble bath. Also, this very large, it looks like we've gathered this uh, floral arrangement. We have sticks and feathers and florals, but it's really soft and elegant. Also, you'll see some of the accessories that we use in the cheetah, and then we ended up with this gorgeous piece of art. The art is actually bamboo, so again, it lends itself to a natural tone. The copper that surrounds it really pops on this faux finish wall. I love working with Denise. She's very professional. She comes up with exciting ideas. It's like she knows my personality, and she was able to pull things out of my personality that I didn't even see. This window treatment really added some elegance to the room and also some drama. This is actually 11 foot high and the fabric is a mesh. It's a copper mesh, but it's really great around water. You don't have to worry about getting it wet. I also put this cuff on it, this zebra print. Well, this is a little sassy like my friend. And we put this tassel fringe all the way up to the top. Also at the top, you will see this finial, it's in black. So we brought in the blacks, chocolates, and also the copper. This makes a dramatic statement when you enter, and it gives you a little privacy if you let it down when you're in the tub. Now this shower before was just clear glass. 
but we wanted to have something that had a more, you know, glamorous feel. So we added the smoked glass, and this is actually a frameless. So you can see there's no frame. Before, at the before picture, you can see the silver, kind of the chrome. A lot of people don't know that you can go frameless. Well, since we used this called Smoky Topaz on the shower, we also wanted to use it on the bowl sink. I love bowl sinks. Now, what you do is since the cabinets were already kind of low, these bowl sinks sit up. So it's a great way if you have really low cabinets. We also wanted to install some really pretty fixtures. We've gone back with the chrome on the fixtures and it gives it such a pretty look. This really adds a lot of elegance to the room. I love the vessel bowls that we put in our bathroom. They make a great statement for the bathroom. When we decided to do the smoky topaz seamless shower, and then, the, and then when she found the topaz bowls, they match just perfectly. So when you walk in, you have the white, and you have the granite, and you have just different textures and colors going on. That really pulled everything together with those two items being the exact same color. And the smoky topaz uh, shower glass was wonderful because it actually pulled the aisle away once again from all the white tile that I was trying to get away from because we didn't want to change the tile out in our bath because that was going to be a major expense. Because we used the smoky topaz bowl sink, we wanted to go with a little bit bolder granite. You can see this granite has blacks, caramel colors, and chocolates. Really made a good contrast against the cabinetry. The cabinetry was already in white, but we added these knobs. These were actually recycled glass knobs, and they have the silver finish. I wanted to add the glass knobs to really coordinate with the light fixtures. The light fixtures in this crystal and silver leaf add so much to the space. The crystals on the end really pick up the light, and although this does provide a lot of lighting, it is functional, it adds so much beauty. Now when you're adding mirrors to a space, don't just pop a mirror on the wall and glue it like a lot of people do. Make sure that the frame looks good with all the other accessories. Take a look at this frame. This is actually two different frames. I've put together this silver leafing. It has some great texture with a little black and the outside is just banded in black. It's a wonderful way to add a lot of texture in the room but still get the function of your mirror. Since this is a his and her bathroom, we duplicated the look on the other side. We used the same light fixture, we used also the mirror and the bowl sinks as well as the granite. But it's in a little bit different shape. It looks great and we like to keep the continuity of the room. Now when you're updating your bathroom, remember you don't have to match all of your finishes. This is actually in an oil rub bronze, but you can mix that with stainless, copper, even platinum, and it looks great. It really adds a lot of texture. So remember that whenever you're remodeling your bath. You know, I was actually very nervous about mixing all the different finishes and the hardware because she had spoken of using some wrought iron and then she spoke of using some crystal pieces and then she spoke of using uh, stainless steel and so in my head you know I was thinking matchy matchy and sh it, it kind of blew me away to mix all these things but I thought I just need to sit back and just let her do it and see what happens and it ended up being amazing. Well, we don't want you to go anywhere because we're going to be talking about defining your spaces and also we're going to reveal a brand new product that we've never seen right here on Lifestyle that's coming up right after the break.